Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of September 1st through the uh, 16th, 2018. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully they do. And those of you that uh, want to contact me for readings, uh, make sure to check the description box below to find out ways you can reach me. And uh, those of you that have been trying to call me, um, you have to wait for me to put a notification out up on YouTube uh, for whenever I'm taking phone calls because I'm not always online. Um, and I don't want anyone losing money. I mean, I think the money is stored for in, when I go online again, but you know, just make sure you wait for me to notify people that um, I'm online. All right, so the central issue, uh, Pisces, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Swords, the Hermit. And we also have the Knight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune here, it looks like there's an opportunity opening up for you. Uh, someone may be coming into your life. They're coming in um, to let you know that they're interested. So someone may be asking you out on a date or there could be some flirtation between you and another person. Uh, I feel like you have been spending a lot of time to yourself. Um, if there's someone that you're interested in, you're very attracted to their intellect. Uh, they could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but um, it looks like this is someone that you might have um, an interest in because, you know, of their intellect. You know, they're not some random, ordinary person. You like them for their frankness. Um, you feel like maybe this person is uh, very spiritual. They enlighten you in different ways. Um, now, also, this could be how someone is viewing you, but I'm feeling like maybe they haven't really shown that they're interested, but eventually they are going to let you know. But right now, they just want to observe you and study you and know how to approach you correctly. Um, now, this reading is for the next couple of weeks, um, but... For some of you, this may not happen. This change might not happen until um, Libra season. So once the sun transit transits into Libra, uh, so somewhere around September 23rd, October 23rd, somewhere around that time frame, you might not recognize these changes. Uh, or uh, for my lady female viewers, these changes take place once you start your next cycle. Um... But yeah, there is someone, they're opening up, they're coming, they're approaching you. Uh, or, you know, this could be you, uh, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But someone either way is opening up and sharing how they feel. Um, I'm feeling like either, I don't know, someone might shut you out or shut you down, though. Uh, or cut off communication. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure why they would do that or why you would do that. Maybe it's just from who you didn't want to talk to. Maybe it's an ex bothering you again. Um, but, you know, love is there. You know, someone wants to open up and share something with you. Um, for some of you, this is about a transformation in how you communicate with each other. I'm seeing someone go off on their own. They're doing what they want to do. They don't care anymore. Um, they don't care what people think of them or how they're viewed. So you're kind of giving out an attitude of, I don't care. I'm just being me and I don't care what people think. 
There could be something that you say that ends up making people not want to talk to you anymore. But it's like I had to express myself or I had to tell the truth. And that's another thing I'm seeing, like the truth coming out. There's open honesty. There's a uh, communication here. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys might be expressing the truth or someone is expressing the truth to you. There's a need for you to be, you know, independent as well. Not wanting to have any strings attached, wanting your freedom here. Or this could be like the type of energy that you attract. Um, could be an Aquarius. Um, I'm seeing you having some sort of clarity on a matter, or maybe you're receiving some sort of news that gives you an understanding or a better understanding about yourself uh, or about this person. I just feel like something like light is being shed on a situation for you. And it helps you make a clear, concise decision here to break free from whatever you need to break free from. Um, Yeah, I just basically don't, I, I feel like you're just doing your own thing and you don't care what people have to say. Uh, let me clarify the Ten of Swords here. And then also because we have the Wheel of Fortune, both of those being tens, uh, we have some cycle in your life that is coming to an end. And there's a, you know, it's an, an opening for something else an opportunity uh, you're being asked to just follow your intuition and go with the flow of things don't try to fight against it something that starts off innocent may turn romantic for some of you Okay, so I have this clarified by strength. For some of you, this is about loyalty. So if you're in a relationship and someone approaches you, it could be that you shut them down because you're just a loyal person, or this might be happening to your partner. Someone tried to come on to your partner, they're trying to flirt. But because of out of loyalty and their values, um, you know, they have a system of values in place. They turn that person down. They're practicing some sort of self-restraint here. And then for others of you, that just could be for you. Like you, it's not about because you're committed to someone else, but it's just because you know you're being celibate. You know, you can wait. You don't have to just have random sexual encounters, you know, you can wait until or hold off until something substantial comes along and it's easy for you. Now, some of you are trying to keep control because this might be a coworker. Maybe you're trying to remain professional. Um, maybe it's because this person is um, your supervisor. Uh, this could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or it could be someone who belongs to the same type of group or organization that you belong to, but out of respect, uh, you're like respectfully declining an offer or they're doing that to you. Maybe you were trying to flirt or whatever, but they're just like out of respect. No, no, thank you. Something is a blow to the ego. And now it's like overthinking it and replaying the situation over and over again. I almost want to say it's like something comical. Like you'll be, it's not that serious. You're going to be able to laugh about it, you know, a few days from now. But there's something that, a scene that keeps playing in the back of your mind over and over again. Okay, so for some of you there, again, there's this attraction between these two people. You guys have something a lot in common. It could be a fire sign. 
Aries Leo Sag or whatever the case, even if it's not their sign, I'm just seeing two people who are attracted to one, an one another and there's a, a chemistry. Uh, it's an intense passion. Um, I'm almost feeling like you met your match, but now you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm undecided about it. What should I do about this situation? So for whatever reason, I don't know. Uh, I guess because those of you that are in relationships, you know, maybe it's getting hard to resist this person. And it's kind of like, oh my God, like I feel confused. Am I with the right person? Is this the person for me? So I'm kind of feeling like someone kind of throws you off track because of the attraction. You might try to avoid them or isolate yourself from that person. There's a need for you to gain some sort of clarity uh, there's a lot of things for you to think about here. I'm also seeing something about not seeing eye to eye with your partner. Like if you're already in a relationship, there's something between you and your partner where you guys keep going, having this back and forth conversation and it's not, you're not able to see eye to eye. No one is willing to compromise and it's just making things difficult. And it's like you end up distancing yourself from your partner or isolating yourself from your partner um and instead of them caving in and saying i'm sorry you guys just end up mirroring each other and both being petty and distant from one another so i'm seeing uh uh poor communication there's a need for you guys to express how you're feeling properly um, because pride could get in the way um, and cause, you know, distance here. I feel like someone wants to be fair, but neither party is willing to compromise. And if this isn't romantic, then, you know, this is something that's happening at the workplace or just between friends. It could be a regular argument. It could be a sports argument. You're arguing about, you know, you know who's gonna win whatever sports team and you guys can't agree. You guys end up arguing over something really silly or petty here. For some of you, I'm seeing you daydreaming about doing something. Um, it's something out of character. Like you, you haven't actually done it, but you fantasize or daydream about it. I don't know what it is, but for you, it's like, I wish I could do this, but you just fantasize about it instead of acting outward, you know, being proactive. And I'm not sure, you know, what that's about. Let me clarify this Five of Swords here. I'm also seeing a Five of Swords, even though I'm about to clarify it. But I'm, I'm seeing it, too, as people being jealous of you. People who aren't really happy for you. I'm seeing someone who is ready to sabotage your happiness or they don't want you to be happy or something. Hmm. I'm seeing it as someone coming off very defensive or maybe someone's offended by something you said or did uh, but I'm seeing someone becoming very guarded um, and maybe lashing out or saying something um, because you offended them some type of way or maybe this is your behavior you are coming off and feeling like you need to um, become very guarded this is the way to prove a point um, so it's almost kind of like lashing out here. Now here I have the devil. 
for some reason it's not really speaking to me let me just kind of see what this is talking about okay some of you have been wanting you've been contemplating on how to approach someone about a codependency um, and maybe you have been holding back because you knew they were going to be in denial or that they were going to lash out some type of way but you're confronting them about some sort of codependency or some sort of bad habit that they have I'm seeing that words hurt saying hurtful things here two people arguing yeah uh, I don't know who this argument is with. You guys are going to move past it, though. This is only temporary energy. Um, yeah, we have a positive outcome, but yeah, there is something in regards to saying hurtful things and this back and forth stuff. Um, calling people out. Maybe it's the way it's said, but you guys are going to move past that because it's, it's like... You know, the love is there. Whether this is um, a love relationship or a work relationship. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, um, I hope it resonated. Um, remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you want your own personal reading, you would have to email to my um, tarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. And um, there are other ways to reach me, like I said. But make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Many blessings to you.